hi guys and welcome back to my channel thank you for keeping up with it's Livy and those of you who are new welcome and i want to welcome all of my new subscribers i have got a few new subscribers over the past few days and i want to tell you guys welcome but before we get into this video i want you guys to go ahead and like comment and subscribe I don't care if you just comment and saying, hey Liv, hey, and I'll say, hey girl, hey, back. But um, yeah, go ahead and click that um, subscribe button and that little bell right next to it so you guys never miss anything with me so you can keep keeping up. Okay, so if you guys see me looking down, because have some notes so I don't get off track because I do tend to ramble. Um... So today's video is basically going to be how to get over a bad breakup. And if you have not had a bad breakup yet, you go ahead of the game. But if you're going through something, boo, this is for you. This is for you. <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay, the first thing I think that you should do is... Take time to truly feel those emotions. And when I say take time to feel those emotions, I mean, don't let your friends tell you, girl, you better get out there. You got to do that now. Start going out there, going to the bar. You don't have to be that girl um, soon as she break up. And then on day two, she's out popping bottles with her girlfriends at the club. Like, no, sweetie, no. Like, if you want to soak, you soak. But... Do not do it for too long. Um, take time to really feel your emotions. Me personally, I give myself 24 to 48 hours to truly feel what's going on. And I know that might seem too fast for some people, but that's just what works for me. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to have a new man in 24 to 48 hours. I'm just giving myself 24 to 48 hours to truly feel you know what's going on number two as candy say speak on it yes speak on it to someone that you trust whether that's your sister your best friend um a classmate whatever someone that you can confide in someone who you know will not trust who will not judge you um, because some of us tend to express things to people and we feel as though they judged us after we tell them. I know me personally in my past, I have expressed things, whether it was relationship wise, personal in my own life, finances, work, whatever. I have confided in people and I could, even if they weren't face to face with me, I can hear that judgment. And if we're face to face, I can see that judgment. Have somebody who understands what you're going through. And even if they have not been through with you what you've been through, someone who is genuine, someone who you can trust with your emotions. Um, if you want someone to speak back to you, someone who you know gives good advice. Because if you're seeking advice from someone, it's a difference between speaking on it just so you can get it out and speaking on it for guidance. Um, if you're speaking on it just to get it out, that one friend who really don't know what to say back is perfect for that. But you don't want to go to that friend if you're seeking advice. Um, I have a friend. She's not too good with words. I love her. I love her dearly. But um, I speak to her when I just want to vent. You know, when people have me messed up or if I just, I just want to get my emotions out, I speak to her. But you don't want to go to, you know certain people when you really want that advice and they're just going to sit there quiet it may make matters worse number three i think a breakup playlist is classic um a breakup playlist and clean when i'm going through things i tend to get me a bomb playlist together to go with whatever is going on whether i'm happy whether i'm sad whether i feel down i need to be brought up whether i'm too high i need to come down 
I have a playlist pretty much for everything. I have a workout playlist. I have a cleanup playlist. I have a road trip playlist. I have a dirty south playlist. I have a float playlist. I have a playlist for everything. And most importantly, you ladies need to have a breakup playlist. And for example, some songs that are on my breakup playlist, I love Sorry by Beyonce. Um, I like um, Never Ever by Sierra. Um, I like songs like that, songs that like, um, that got that back to it. And then I like um, some of uh, Fifth Harmony songs. I like those, but whatever songs work for you and that touch your heart that are not going to have you down in the dumps. Songs that are going to bring you up. Those need to be the songs on your breakup playlist. If you're religious, that might mean turn on Kirk Franklin Radio on Pandora. Whatever. Turn something on that's motivational to you and clean up. When you clean up, you think you think better. You have more confidence. Um, you just might clean up and do laundry and find that one shirt that make you look bomb. Find those jeans that make you look bomb. And you might want to go outside because you found those clothes and all of that mess and while you're cleaning up you want to get rid of any reminder of your ex don't burn it don't burn it don't burn it put it in a box tuck it away because even though they hurt you memories are memories and you still want to hold on to them you just never know what you might need in the future you know um and then most importantly when it comes to cleaning up I was raised in a household that cleanliness is next to godliness. And once, like I said, if you're religious, you know when you clean up, it brings you closer to God. Number four. Delete numbers, texts, missed calls, and FaceTime logs. Yes, I said it. I did not just say delete the number because... I have deleted numbers in the past and I can go back and I can find that old text message. And when I get that, you know, that craving for my ex, I tend to go to that old call log and send a blank. I mean, the text and send a blank, press the space bar and send a text and be like, oh, I didn't mean to send that to you or, you know, something just to get their attention back. No, boo, don't even block them because that number will be on that block list. And which means that you can step back and you can go and dig through that block list and you know that number when you see it okay so delete all of it you don't want to be able to go back in the call log and be able to see them you don't want to be able to dig back in the missed call log or dig back in the facetime log delete it all text face um facebook instagram twitter everything and while you're at it please delete his friends i mean even if they're your friends too Sometimes, especially when it's like around holidays and summertime, your ex may pop up in those people's pictures and it may bring back those memories, whether they're good memories or bad memories, and you do not want to get triggered. So delete everybody for your own sanity, okay? His friends are no longer your friends, boo. Get rid of them. They're not your friends, okay? On to the next. Number five. You need to level up, boo. It is time to level up. You need to level up mentally, physically, and financially. You are not doing this to shit on him, even though you just may shit on him in the process. But you are doing it for you. You're doing it for you. Okay, you need to level up, which means going that extra step when you get ready. You know, if you're weave or whatever, it looks straight, straighten a little bit more, put a little bit of shine on it. You know, simple. If your skin look clear, put a little bit of, you know, a little bit of some powder on, put some lip gloss on, put some lashes on, you know, go the extra step. Instead of wearing jeans and a t-shirt, put on a nice blouse and those jeans and pop on some heels. Level yourself up physically. That means going to the gym. Going to the gym, taking care of yourself. Not just on the outside, but on the inside. Going to the gym, eating fresh fruits and vegetables, listening to positive music, 
being around positive people. Those are things that are going to level you up, okay? Even if it means picking up a little extra PR ran job to get some extra coins to provide that new lifestyle that you want to have, that new look. And you know, we don't want our exes back 80% of the time, but we want them to want us back. So, you know, I don't know about y'all, but I love crapping on my exes. I I love grabbing on my exes. Like, it's just a habit of mine. I just like it. I love looking better. I love being better. I love being happier when I leave them. I'm not doing it to be spiteful, but it just so happened that me making myself happy makes them mad along the way. And, you know, hmm, who doesn't like killing two birds with one stone? <laughs> on to the next. Mm. Number six is... And the last one, you need to rediscover who you are. You know, these bad times, these good times, that relationship, I don't care if it was one month, one year, 10 years, 15 years, you are not the same you from when you walked into that relationship from when you walk out. So you need to figure out what it is that you want to take from that relationship and grow from it and what you want to just leave and throw away in the garbage. You need to just figure that out you know, um, embrace the new you. Don't look back and be like, I wish I was the me that I was before I met him. And no, you don't. No, you don't. Because if that relationship was bad, it has made you grow. You have learned lessons. And um, I love Sierra. She had said something like, she has her album and it's called Beauty Marks. And she said that all of the troubles that she had been through, they are not scars. They are beauty marks. So instead of looking at the bad things that we have been through and the misfortunes that we have been through and the bad things that people have done and said to us, don't look at that as scars. Look at that as beauty marks. You have made it through that. You are still standing. You still have your sanity, honey. Those are beauty marks. Embrace it, okay? And that is all that I have on getting over a bad breakup. But first, before we get into all off of this video, let's get into this hair, girls. Okay, so this wig is from Wig Dealer. Okay. They are based out of Cleveland. It has a lot of shine, a lot of movement, a lot of bounce. I love it. So this is their China Bang wig and I just cramped it. It, it comes it comes straight. I cramped it and then I just brush it out with the wig brush so it has like a cute little wave look to it. Not too hard. I don't like the hard cramped look from when it's fresh cramped. I just like to brush it out. This is a China bang wig. It comes down lower and it's a glueless unit. I don't like the bangs all in my eyes because you can't see my um my eyeshadow as much. But yeah, this is the wig. Um, I got this on the um Monday sale that they had a while back, and I used their thermal silkening serum um spray when I do it. I take the wig off at night and I put on a stainless scarf and I wake up in the morning and I put this thing back on. But the short unit that I wear on social media, that's also a wig dealer wig. It was originally a middle part, but enough of that. But I just wanted to show you guys this wig. And um, if you guys want to check them out, you can follow them on Instagram at the wig dealer. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you guys get over the bad breakups and I hope that you can take something from this video, take whatever you want and leave the rest. Um, leave comments down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know, fill me in. If, you, if there's any type of videos that you want me to do that you have not seen me do, please give me any recommendations and I'm, I'm free to film for you guys. Also, how do you guys like our new backdrop? You like our new backdrop? I love our new backdrop. Okay. Thank you for keeping up with Libby.